The following presentation is the fourth of the XPR VPB knowledge series XPR adoptions. We now know what XPR is, the basic building blocks and the myths surrounding XPR. In XPR adoptions, we will be covering governance of XPR standards, scope of XPR, especially other than those other than financial reporting. We will also see common approaches to implement XPR and how flexibility of taxonomies can be le leveraged by XPR implementers. Finally, an overview of projects across the globe. The XPR International Incorporated, XII in short, is the governing body of XPR. XPR is a consortium of 650 plus organizations involved in the development and promotion and adoption of XPRL. One can either be a direct member or join local jurisdictions. Currently, there are about 22 established and 4 provisional jurisdictions. Apart from governance of XPRL standards, the XII has established a process called taxonomy recognition process where taxonomies created across the globe can be approved or acknowledged. One can refer www.xpl.org FR taxonomies for further details on taxonomies. A key resource on the subject of XPR is www.xprl.org. Also refer webinar 1 on what is XPR. XPR is not limited to financial reporting. XPR is more about business reporting. Among the various users of XPR, regulators across the globe have been the biggest adopters of XPR. XPR has successfully facilitated the regulators in bringing standardized and clean data to the regulator's doorstep. Real benefits of XPR can actually be seen when regulators analyze and the XPR instances in an effective manner. Also refer webinar 3 on myths. <laughs> Some areas other than financial reporting for listed companies that can be XPRized are taxation, where computation of tax and the allied financials can be XPRized. XPR can be used by banks and for prudential supervisory reporting where there are a large number of data points to be input and validated. Internal reporting. Companies can have their own taxonomies and require their sub-entities to report an XPR format for management analysis dashboards. This can be done using XPR Global Ledger. The XPR GL taxonomy is developed and published by the XII. XPR GL is a gap neutral and system neutral dictionary of financial concepts. It bridges companies' internal systems and can process journal level information. Cost audit and compliance reporting can be XPRized to give meaningful information to the regulator which are ready for analysis. Companies can explain organization strategy, governance and prospects in XBRL through integrated reporting. The corporate actions taxonomy can be used to electronically link the issuer to the investor. XBRL helps in improving issuer-investor relationship by reducing risk and cost and allows investors to receive information on corporate actions such as mergers, dividends and other securities processed directly. Usage of XPRL in SPR program improves business to government reporting and reduces regulatory burdens. Tax executives can tag their data with XPRL, prepare internal reports and external forms. Some of the major and most successful adoptions are Euro filing by the European Bank Authorities, the US SEC. UK HMRC and the FSA of Japan.
The essence of XBRL can be seen in the adoption of standard business reporting. The e-governance pro project adopted by countries such as Australia, the Netherlands and recently Singapore. This adoption substantially reduces compliance burdens for corporate and individuals. Other unique adoptions of XPRL are happening in India with XPRL mandate of cost audit and compliance reports using costing taxonomies. The GRA taxonomy for sustainability reporting and integrated reporting by the IIRC are other recent developments in XPRL. XPRL implementation from the regulator's perspective involves publication of base taxonomy and requiring the companies under supervision to submit their filings in XPRL. Regulators can make the XPRL filings mandatory or voluntary. Sometimes regulators pull the data from company systems and this invariably gives 100% compliance levels. Corporates can adopt XPRL in their internal systems using XPRL GL at either the trial balance level, which is the integrated approach, or the transaction process level, which is the deeply embedded approach. These companies can use XPRL data not only for compliance requirements, but also for other purposes such as investor analysis. The challenges in implementing XPRL GL will be to create a robust XPRL tool that can take care of all companies' requirements like consolidation, etc. One of the features of XPRL adoption and implementation is the flexibility that the base taxonomy offers, whether to extend or not to extend. The semi-flexible approach of regulating the extensions is the latest concept in implementation approaches. The topic of extension has also been discussed in webinar 2 building blocks. The chart here gives an overview of few projects around the world and how they are being implemented. The map gives an idea of major XPRL implementation across the globe. XPRL is expected to be mandated in 75% of world's market cap by the end of 2014. For additional information on projects, one can visit the site on Project Listing Database www.xprl.org Knowledge Center Projects Map of the XII. XPL is necessary for all personnel involved in managing the processes and technologies for automating business processes. For XPL Foundation Certification, one can visit the website www.xplcertification.com. Additional training opportunities are available on these topics. Thank you.